Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very special celebratory event for International Women's Day. <laughs> We have the power to change narratives and small changes create ripple effects within our community that allow others to dream bigger and aim higher. And I feel very honored this evening to, you know, to be celebrated in this way. Uh, but there are so many wonderful women out there and in Lewis in particular. My passion, my, my drive to do such work and of course also to, um, to use any platform that I'm given the privilege to speak at um, is to achieve sufficient prominence uh, and to serve as a model uh, for victims and survivors and others and thus constitute something um, to call into question uh, the conception of child sexual abuse, uh, what Yeats would call uh, the emotion of multitude. Uh, there is no sense of order for that child and it's up to us as a society to put it right. Personally, I just don't understand, you know, this, 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 you know, what we're talking about is we're talking about our children, our boys who become leaders. How, where is it going wrong that those young boys, I am a mother of two myself, you know, when they become leaders, we become an equal. It, it is, it's just so unfair and, uh, you know, the kind of bizarre when you think about it. What is this inequality between women and men that we are 51%, uh, 50 at least, and, 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 and we give birth to, 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 you know, to girls and boys, but at some point we become unequal. What sorts of perceptions and narratives can different types of hair reveal? Status, religious fables, oppression, privilege, health, disease. I think it's an important thing when you're reflecting on your own journeys and your own personal identities to reflect on aspects of hair. Black women are worth so much more than your fetishizations. We are worth opportunities where we shine an equal payment. We carry so much on top of our worldly frustrations and how divine will be the day when we walk in liberation, dripping in gold and salvation, being rewarded our accolades without hesitation. We are not a monolith, but we are a nation of unchained, unconfined, powerful. Black women. Black women are unbeatable. So yeah, I'm crazy about being a crazy woman of colour because it makes me who I am. I am sensitive, I am strong, I am wise and I've been wrong to ever think I am anything less than worthy. To ever let anyone treat me as anything less than worthy because now I know I am a hell of a lot more than worthy. I am kind, I am tender, I am creative. I'm empathetic, I'm intelligent, I'm appreciative, I'm resilient, and I am absolutely crazy about being a crazy woman of colour, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I have crossed an ocean. I have lost my tongue. From the root of the old one, a new one has sprung. If a book is broken, your mother can mend it using broad tape that feels like cotton. She can place her hand on yours and put the torn edges together, can feather them in till the rough white patches bind and the letters join. If a book is broken, your mother can find out which is the last page and which is the first, and she can put the last page back in the right place. If a book is broken, your mother can fix it. All the winds will change. Until all women are free to be, we are not. And until then, we should never stop. Our voices are powerful and our minds intelligent. 
We are incredible women who must lift each other up. I'll bear weight on my shoulders so we'll all take the ladder up.